Hi guys, so this is going to be um, a DIY do-it-yourself on a um, t-shirt cutting video and it's basically turning this huge t-shirt that I got into a cropped tank or whatever that you would find at like Urban Outfitters or Forever 21 for a lot more than what I got it for. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. Okay, so first off, the t-shirt that I'm wearing I purchased from a thrift store for only $2 and it's from the men's section. It's actually an extra large so it looks really big on me so this is going to be quite a challenge to cut and um, let me just show you what it looks like in the mirror here so you can see my bathroom but <laughs> look on the sleeves go almost all like three-fourths on my arm uh, it says new air on the front it's just like this pale yellow this kind of goes like all the way down it's pretty much as long as a dress and I look ridiculous um, so they're, the sleeves are going to be really big, but we can just wear a bandeau under that and hopefully we could turn this into something a little bit more acceptable to wear. So anyways, t uh, stay tuned to see how Okay, so the first thing you want to do is see how long it is and what I like to do is work on the length first. Now always cut off uh, less than you need to cut off just because once you cut something you obviously you obviously can't go back Depending on how cropped you want to be. I don't want it to be too cropped So I'm just gonna have it like right here around right here So what you kind of do is just kind of have an idea of how far down it goes So I know like um you could mark it with a pen which would probably be so smart. basically what you want to do I put this um, pen mark here and I'm just gonna cut ooh, out of focus here but basically I'm just gonna cut right along the line like that and if you wanted to make a high low hem don't cut both layers at the same time cut one layer at a time and just kind of go a more of like a like an angular kind of uh, fashion so you just want to so. pull on it so it just looks a little bit more um, not so uh, messy let's see if I can show you so just kind of pull on the ends like that so the ends kind of curl up can you see how when I pulled on it they curled up a little bit yeah so the ends kind of curled up like that and that's what you kind of want to do so you get rid of the lines so they curl up a little bit so for just the like arms that. what I typically like to do is just cut basically the entire sleeve off and I don't know if, if you can have there's a very faint line of where the sleeve was sewn on basically cut a little bit over that line and then this and then just basically cut the sleeve off and then you can later adjust how big you want it because um, if you cut anywhere after this line it's gonna look really weird so as long as you just cut close to the line first and yep I'll be right back this is what the shirt looks like after having cut off a lot of the length and cutting off the sleeves as you can see it's not looking like a tank top it's still because it was so big on me it pretty like droopy okay, you can leave it like this if you want but um it's kind of boxy on me so i'm gonna cut the sleeves at an angle a little bit just so um it looks more like a tank top instead of a box top kind of thing which honestly is fine i mean it's just a normal shirt but um just so you know the sleeves are quite huge so definitely gonna have to wear something under this but that's what you get. The the larger the shirt, the larger this arm hold is going to be. So just so you're aware. So basically what you want to do with the arm, because it's just kind of straight down like that, um, and you still have a lot of space right here, what you want to do is kind of cut like that. You see what I'm doing? Like more of an angle. So, the so strap this is, is the thinner. final result. It's still a bit boxy, but I don't mind that. I kind of like that. Um, like I said, the arm holds huge, so make sure you wear a bandeau or something underneath, and that's kind of it. It's not super cropped, which I like, because I didn't really want to make it super cropped, but it's just perfect length in the back. There you go. Alright, and that's how you turn a super large t-shirt into a smaller cropped shirt like this, and, um, Hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you subscribe if you haven't, and um, comment and like below or something. I don't know what to say. Okay, so bye. Um, see you in the next video.